Welcome back to Florida Sportsman, Project Dreamboat. Join us as Rocky Point Boatworks brings a custom dash dream at TRB to life. All right, everybody, welcome back to another great season of Project Dreamboat. I'm Dave, owner of Rocky Point Boatworks. We're kicking off the season with a uh, skimmer skiff for Two Rivers Boatworks and uh, doing a pretty tricked out custom dash panel for them in our electronic side box. I'm ready to roll. I'm gonna use the notes from last build up here. And uh, we're gonna start knocking these babies out. Make sure we got no scratches. Cause there's nothing like doing something and then not seeing where the scratches might have been. You peel it off and you're like, oh, especially on a job like this. Quick finger check, we're good. Okay, so now we got our piece roughed out. Once we find our center line, we're gonna go ahead and try to make our exact cut out for our sim rad. Now, you could use the, the template they provide you with the sim rad, but however, we're back mounting this, so we kinda gonna throw those to the side and do our own measurements. This thing's gonna stick out you like a sore thumb, so it has to be perfect, because these guys demand high quality. All right, so we got our rough layout. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the laser and let the laser do all the hard work. All right, so we've had the laser for over a year now, and we've learned quite a lot on it. Well, I should say I've learned quite a lot on it. It's like having another employee here. It doesn't complain, it just works. Now, it took me 43 years to learn to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> so the laser finished up its job. We took the material out, and we put it to the Simrad to check our fitment. It looked pretty damn good, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so now we're gonna try to find the center line on this console before we pop any holes in it. Keep in mind, when you're putting holes in your boat, make sure you're putting them in the correct location and where you really want them, because unlike here, if I make a mistake in the acrylic, I can make another piece. You make a hole in your boat, well, then you're calling a guy like me to come out and fix it. Obviously, you can see it's not sitting flush, so we gotta continue to cut. That's why I only cut a little bit. I'm trying not to take out too much material. So we'll do a couple cuts here and there. If it takes me a little longer, so be it. So we just try to leave as much there as possible. The only thing I can say is when you're drilling in any type of fiberglass, um, sharp bits, new blades, um, take your time. Just because you're putting something in and you go, oh, I'm not gonna see it. Somebody's gonna remove it at some point in time and see that hole. Me, I like to put when things are pulled out, at least they go, man, that guy took his time. So once all the little holes and everything are all done and we have the panel on there, we're gonna go ahead and do fine tune our edges. Because like I said earlier, nothing's ever square or straight. So this is where we're gonna come in and we'll take a little off here, a little there, and um, a lot of different angles we gotta account for and uh, get this thing ready so we can get the windshield on. So we're cutting some quarter inch acrylic. Uh, it's gonna form the, um, the bottom frame of the windshield. That, the main dash meets up to, so it gives me something where I could bend to, and it gives me a way to attach the windshield without you seeing any mounting hardware. All right, so we use the laser to make the base of our windshield, which is actually gonna be our uh, form for the windshield. And as you see me do before making windshields, we used the hot rod, and um, we heated up our material, went ahead and bent it to our piece that we made in the laser, clamped it, let that thing sit and cool so it keeps its form. After that's all done, then we're gonna go ahead and um, trim up what we need to trim, apply some glue, and uh, get that thing ready to mount on the boat. I used to do cakes for Publix for a couple years. I'm the lead designer. All right, so now we got the windshield mounted and all secured, through bolted. We went ahead and had to shim up the Simrad just a little bit, so when the acrylic goes down, it gives it that nice flush look. And we also apply a little sealant behind it as well. Nothing, not a 5200, nothing like that. A little Sikaflex does the trick. Just helps with the mounting screws and that to help everything stay in place. All right, so I got all the caulking applied and we're ready to put the panel on. Set it in place, started doing my little pressing on it to get everything in there and realized I made a boo-boo. So in my haste and excitement of getting this job wrapped up, I neglected to pull the paper off. Good thing no one will see it though, because it just happened here with just me in the shop. You folks at home. Well, I'm very glad I caught that. So went ahead and removed it and uh, 
cleaned up a little bit, reapplied some uh, more adhesive, and finally put it on. So caulking's in, wiping down everything. There's a few more things I need to do to this boat before they take delivery. Super excited seeing this project wrap up, and I look forward to seeing what the guys at Two Rivers do. If it looks anything like the other boat they did, it's gonna look amazing.